First of all, thank Gary for starting us off on the right foot. Um, you know, as part of our culture, we always rely on to to, uh, to give us the strength to do what we have to do. And uh, on behalf of Snanemo elders and peoples, I'd like to welcome everybody into Snanemo territory. Glad to see everybody here. And you know, the fight for our health is really important. You know, a lot of uh, our people are 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 sick, you know, and with not only a diabetes, heart, but uh, a lot of cancer is, is coming these days. You know, it's uh, for all those people that are suffering with cancer. You know, I, you know, they're in our in our thoughts and prayers, and uh, hopefully, you know, we find a cure for cancer. And you know, if we catch it early enough, and not only cancer but diabetes um, and heart, if we catch it early enough. We, we could make, give them a second chance, you know. It's not about beating it, it's about getting second chances. And, you know, it's, uh, it's all in the mind. A strong mind will help us get through a lot of it. But, you know, with a lot of our, our family support and our friends support, you know, the, a lot of these things can happen. You know, it's just, uh, I remember that time, you know, when you're down, you're out, you think uh, uh, nobody knows and, you know, everybody's calling, everybody's dropping by. It makes you feel good and makes you want to survive. You know, it's... Uh, it's a benefit for us to come together to uh, get some benefits that's going to make our communities well. You know, that's what it's all about. We're in Sanemo here. We got a wellness plan, a wellness plan to get everybody healthy again and, and uh, not worrying about uh, uh, cancer, diabetes. Um, you know, that, that worries me. I'm a diabetic. I'm a survivor of cancer, and it's... Uh, it's um, it's humbling, you know. You you sure tra change your ways when you uh, sitting there wondering if you're gonna live the next day. It's uh, you know, and to find out uh, all those well wishes that are coming in, uh, you sure makes you uh, change. But on behalf of us, Nanaimo people, and on behalf of my counselor, Kate Why Kate Good, <laughs> um, we welcome everybody into our territory, and thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Nick Chowdhury, Kukakiwak rep to the First Nations Health Council, member of the Dunokdok First Nation. I uh, note that we're a little bit behind time and we have a very full agenda ahead of us. I wanted to quickly mention that there is coffee set up in the back corner of the room near the entrance opposite the registration table. And uh, please watch your step. On the, uh, the matting here on the floors, there's a couple of ripples, and uh, I've been told that somebody already tripped, so please watch your step. We don't want anyone to uh, get hurt. Next up on our agenda, we have uh, an address to the chiefs by the 
representatives from the Partnership Accord Steering Committee. Uh, rather than all of us, we've chosen three, so I'd like to call up uh, Lydia Huitzum, Don Hubbard, and Deb Foxcroft. Okay. <laughs> I was closest to the front of the room, so I get to go first. Respected First Nations people, respected elders, I'm thankful for the presence of each and every one of you and thankful for the opportunity for us to uh, come together to, to celebrate and recognize uh, um, our partnership and our good work. Thank you to the Snanaymuk people for opening the way in their territory for us to meet today. Uh, thank you, uh, Chief, for your comments. Thankful for the drum, for the song, for the opportunity for us to uh, um, sit together today and recognize uh, um, the good work and partnerships going forward. Lydia, that's my traditional name, Lydia Huitzum. I chair the board of directors for the First Nations Health Authority. I have the honor of uh, being here uh, as a signatory as well to the um, renewal of the uh, partnership accord. Uh, we're clearly together here and we've gathered together in the spirit of, of partnership, uh, the Vancouver Island Regional Caucus, Island Health, the First Nations Health Authority, all of our, our Indigenous people and health providers in this area just recognizing that it's that collective, it's that group of us making a commitment to work together that's brought us this far. And will look forward in, into the future. And, and now, in, in my time, in my memory, we know there is a time we didn't all sit around the table together in a collaborative way. It's in our memory now, and the future holds for us a time where we'll go, I don't remember when we didn't all sit together and collaborate and think and plan and organize in a way that's beneficial to us all, consistent with the partnership commitments that we make to each other. So I'm, I'm thankful for that, and I, I'm, I'm hopeful, I say that in a hopeful way because we know when we took over this work it wasn't an easy job. We knew that there are many challenges, many gaps in terms of access to service and quality of service for our people. Notwithstanding that, with the courage of the chiefs in, in this room and in this province uh, made a commitment to, uh, to work together and, and, and really accept that we can do it better if we do it together. So I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity to uh, recognize all of our partners, to, to recognize the, the commitment of the, the caucus uh, members and to the whole First Nations caucus for that up taking that challenging role of, of redefining and decolonizing how we think about each other and how we work together and reaching out as brothers and sisters in a much bigger struggle for the well-being of our people. So I'm thankful uh, for the facing that challenge across this whole uh, um, island uh, in the island region, but certainly recognizing the work throughout the province. One of the aspects that's really brought to it, it, it's in front of us a way to talk about how we work together in a way that's accountable, and we talk now, we can talk about reciprocal accountability. As much as it sounds complicated, it really is, we're making a commitment to be accountable to each other for our respective roles and responsibilities and our commitment to the partnership accord that we're signing and, and reaffirming today. So I'm, um, as, as I say, I can't say enough how thankful I am that this, this platform is here for us to work together and to, in really, short notice, start looking at how we decolonize, how we not only think about each other when we're providing care as our responsibility, but also how, from a government perspective, how we work together, health providers, how we work together, and us as Indigenous people redefining the strength that we have working together. I don't want to take up too much time, but I do want to really put enough weight in recognizing each and every person in this room and, and those who unfortunately couldn't make it because of the inclement weather and other, other commitments, but recognize that there's many good hearts and many helping hands that have contributed to bringing us to a level of understanding that we must work together, we must collaborate, and we must respect that notwithstanding the fact that we come from different perspectives, we come from valid different perspectives, particularly from an Indigenous worldview. 
So continuing with the focus of this, uh, the priorities within this region, continuing to focus on uh, mental health, primary care, uh, maternal child and family health, cultural safety and humility, and traditional wellness as a reflection of the priority areas identified through a collaborative exercise in this region. So um, with that, uh, we're going to have, I know we're going to have an, uh, an overview of the, the partnership year in review, and it'll give us an opportunity to, to reflect, as I said, on what we've been able to do in this year and since the partnership accord was signed, but also to have that hopeful horizon of recognizing that this is a, a platform that is going to help us close those gaps in terms of uh, quality, safe access to health care for Indigenous people in this province. So again, thankful to uh, recognize our CEO for uh, his work in leading the operations of the organization and the uh, Island, uh, Island Health for their, their commitment to, and uh, open heart to find a way to uh, um, work together. So with that, uh, I'm thankful for the presence of you all and for your time and, and attention. Good morning, and uh, thank you, Chief, for the uh, warm welcome. I want to thank all the chiefs and elders and delegates and uh, representatives from the, uh, the uh, First Nations Health Authority and Health Councils. And I'm very pleased to be here today to be part of this ceremony. Uh, first of all, I want to acknowledge that we're holding this ceremony on the Sinemic First Nations land. And uh, again, thank you to the Chief for welcoming us here. Um, it was an honor in 2012 to sign the uh, Partnership Accord, and I'm pleased to see, be, be here today to see us renew and, um, and reconfirm that today. Very important. In 2015, Minister of Health Terry Lake stated that First Nations healthcare in BC needed to be hardwired and embedded in our healthcare agenda. So in 2012, signing the accord with the First Nations for Vancouver Island, we in Island Health went on to the work of embedding and hardwiring First Nations health into our work we do every day. Over the next three years, we want to continue that work and uh, continue that work to endeavor to improve where we are uh, and move forward. There is existing uh, disparities in, in the healthcare in uh, First Nations Health all over this province, but also on Vancouver Island. And, um, and um, it's the, there's many different ways to look at that, but uh, with health outcomes, social determinants, and um, outcomes for, uh, for health care for First Nations is an area that we need to improve. We need to work together. The way for us to do that is to work together to deal with these disparagements. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that word right, but there are issues. And um, We were going to, the way to do that is through the Partnership Accord. The Partnership Accord allows our teams and our, and our organizations to collaborate uh, through all different venues of the, uh, of the organizations, both organizations. As a board chair of Island Health, representing our board, I'm committed to carry on the work with our team and our uh, organization to, uh, to enhance health and wellness for First Nations um, through the region that we serve. And before I close, I want to tell a little story. This, this, this is kind of meaningful to me to be here today, very meaningful on, on this particular land. Well, I, I came to Vancouver Island in 1958, and I moved here, and I lived on a farm just up the river. It's eyesight. You can actually see the farm from here. And I used to come down here and play here and play lacrosse. And uh, a lot of the folks that were here, and I don't know if any of them are as old as I am, they're still here, but I probably would have played lacrosse with a lot of you. I went to school with a lot of you. And um, it's quite meaningful for me to come back. I never would have dreamed in my wildest dreams I'd be here today. 
and I'm sure, sure glad I am. So having said that, I'd like to say Heichka, Kleko Kleko, Ela Kesla, thank you. Good morning. Everybody can hear me. Just wanted to uh, say welcome uh, this morning and just want to acknowledge the Sunaimo, Sunaimo territory we were doing our business on today. Acknowledge the elder for your words and your prayers. And to all of our chiefs that are here um, and to all of our guests and uh, work and all of our staff, I just want to acknowledge your hard work and uh, the hard work ahead of us in the next year. I just uh, wanted to, I'm Deb Foxcroft and I'm uh, with the First Nations Health, New Chonlet First Nations Health Caucus uh, representative and uh, I just wanted to just reflect uh, a little bit about uh, the, the past, I guess, in terms of the partnership accord, some of the history. Um, although I wasn't there, I do have some of the history here. Um, and I just wanted to say that uh, in reflecting back since uh, the third meeting of the chiefs on uh, and the CEOs, uh, I think there was an agreement that there would be a partnership accord in the very beginning stage and that the people on Vancouver Island uh, were, were looking for improving the well-being of all of our, our families, communities, elders, children uh, in terms of health. And I understand that uh, in those very early days, in the very early stages, there was uh, a bit of tension. Uh, there was some concern. I, I know there was some anger there. Of course, uh, there's fear uh, when there's anything new that's going forward. And uh, and uh, I know there was a lot of concerns in terms of um, uh, discrimination and racism. And I think that as we move forward in the year of reconciliation, I, I, I believe that uh, we're in a good place to reconcile the past and move forward uh, with reconciliation comes uh, education, understanding, and then we can move forward uh, in a good way. Um, the, the, I guess in the second meeting uh, that there was some time, there was some movement and changes that had been seen and felt and conversations were filled with appreciation and acknowledgement uh, of a lot of all the good work that has been done to date. So I just also need to acknowledge uh, the staff um, all of their work and our partners uh, to getting us here today. Uh, as people knew, know that the signing was in 2012, that was four years ago, so we're here to renew our relationship uh, in a good way. Uh, I know that uh, as part of our reciprocal accountability, uh, together as First Nations, as the health, um, Island Health and our health authority, uh, we're here today to also give you a, an update uh, of the year, of where we've been, where we're at. Um, and that's, uh, that is part of our partnership accord that we report back. Um, although it is a responsibility for all of us uh, to ensure that this partnership accord is implemented, is working, is um, going to uh, have a better outcome for our, our families and our communities. So today we are building on the progress to date uh, in, in regards to our partnership accord and so I think it's an exciting day and I, I think we're all looking forward to the next three years uh, ahead. Uh, we, uh, we are going to, although uh, this is a three-year agreement, we do have opportunities to change and, and uh, renew it, uh, amend it if there's any kind of issues or concerns. And we, in November, we also had the opportunity to go to all of our families on the island to also get, um, again, some input to the accord. And I know there has been some changes to the accord since that time, and uh, we can highlight those later. Uh, but it is a, an opportunity to move forward, so I look forward to today, and I just wanted to acknowledge everyone's being here at this busy time of the year, um, and I wanted to say happy holidays to you and your families, and please have a safe um, holiday season full of love, peace, joy, health, and happiness.
So I look forward to working together with you in 2017. Clicot, clicot.